What's up guys, today we're going to be going over the Tessellation, which is the pre-order bonus for the final shape, which if you play on PC and you want to do so, you can do so in my Nexus store down below. But in this video, we're going to be going over exactly what this weapon does, why it's so good, a incredibly broken glitch right now with it, and finally, a really good build to take advantage of this that doesn't include the glitch. That makes it basically work the same way without taking advantage of that. So jumping into this weapon and looking at its perks, this weapon adapts its damage type to match your equipped subclass, final blows grant grenade energy, and the secondary perk, full reload to consume your grenade to load a large projectile that generates an elemental explosion on impact. So the thing that makes this weapon unique is it will always match whatever subclass you're on, which means it can not only be all three light elements, it can also be both darkness elements, which is really cool. And there's a lot of things you can do with that in terms of build crafting. And when you hold reload, it will consume your grenade in this really, really cool animation right here. And it will load a projectile. And this projectile will do a lot of damage for a special weapon, hitting almost 144,000. And when shot, it will not only do that damage to whatever it hits, it will also do a huge chunk of damage to everything nearby with a huge radius. And then on impact, it will also explode, almost like something like Chain Reaction. So with this weapon, when you consume your grenade, not only do you get a huge burst of damage, it also has some of the best act clear in the game, right up there with a Reservoir Burst Fusion or a Chain Reaction GL. And the damage of these shots is nearly that of a Honed Edge times 4 Izanagi's Burden Shot, only like 15,000 less. But as we mentioned, in a huge radius, and also the potential for group ad clear. And when you use this weapon, all the final blows with the projectile shot will give energy back to your grenade. So in theory, in the right situation for ad clear, you can chain this over and over again, and using one shot will give you enough grenade energy back to do it again. But in lot of situations, that just won't be the case. And definitely won't be in the case in things like boss fights where you're not getting final blows with the weapon. And that is where this absolute broken glitch comes in. The whole balance of this weapon is it uses your grenade and you need a grenade charge to do it. But right now when you're on the arc subclass, all you have to do is load into an activity, whatever it is, swap your grenade to whatever you want, doesn't matter which. And for whatever reason, when you do so, now it, the game just thinks you always have a grenade charge and you can proc the projectile over and over again as often as you want with or without a grenade charge. So yeah, now we can use this thing with 100% uptime and not worry about having a grenade charge, which means not only can we use it like crazy for Ackler, we can also use it over and over again for a boss fight. So looking at damage on Carl, as we showed off before, it's roughly 144,000, but now we can do it over and over and just keep loading them into the weapon. So now looking at three shots of this weapon, it's gonna be pretty slow because of the animation, at almost 8 seconds, which means the DPS isn't that high at 55.1 thousand. Still okay for a special weapon, but nothing crazy, right? What this glitch is really good at though is let me total damage output. With double reserves, it goes up to 21. And 21 shots of that damage is over 3 million total damage. So with this glitch, it's basically like using a Izanagi's Burden with 21 Hone Edge times 4 shots, which is obviously pretty crazy. But what if I told you you can do basically the same main without taking advantage of this glitch at all? So when it comes to making a build with this weapon, a lot of people, including myself, their first thought was pair it with Verity's Brow. Because Verity's Brow is all about matching elemental damage to your subclass. And with the way that this obviously always matches your subclass, it seems to be the natural selection. And this is a good combo for any subclass in the game. I think it is better on Void with Devourer to get a little bit of extra help from the Devourer kills. And now you can proc the Death Throws times five, which will help you get your grenade back. And it will be a little bit better, but honestly not that great. Looping your grenade still really comes down to how many kills you get with the projectile shot. And unless you're killing like six, seven things, it's not quite an infinite loop. You can make this combo a little bit better by matching like an LMG to whatever subclass you're using. Or if you're on Strand or Stasis using a primary, that is, strain or stasis would work pretty well too to help keep the uptime going on Verity's Brow. But the real issue with this build is that even though you consume your grenade with the tessellation, it's not coded as grenade damage in any way. And half of what Verity's Brow does is double the damage of your grenade, so you're not taking advantage of that. Also, the projectile shots do not proc any of the grenade mods in the game, even including something like Grenade Kickstart when you first consume it. 
so it's not that great so overall the way better build is actually using some bracers where we can use our melee to get the infinite solar grenade charge for a few seconds and pair that with heat rises and what you can do with this combo is you use your melee to proc some bracers you have to throw your first grenade then you can consume the next ones into the weapon and when you do this you'll always be able to shoot off two of the charge shots for every melee you use also when you use this combo you can use your grenade still so you don't even have to sacrifice your grenade so for every time you use your melee you can use one grenade and two of the charge shots so not only is this infinite uptime on the tessellation we don't even sacrifice our grenade in this build and as long as you get enough scorch or airborne final blows you will easily have your next melee back and you just do it over and over again and this allows for some interesting combos you can do for boss fights or champions mini bosses wherever it is where you can always have two shots stowed and ready to go for any fight by simply just using the combo right and you have the one loaded and you have your next grenade to use two in a row you can also do three in a row by first having a shot prepped then using your melee grenade and two shots afterwards so with all this stuff going on not only is this weapon obviously extremely good for actor and we have a hundred percent of time on the charge shots with this build it's also gonna be really good for mini bosses champions and even things like the lucent hive even shooting off just two shots in a row is nearly 300,000 damage which would be more enough damage even like 20 light under to easily solo a champion and not to mention this season fusion is unstoppable you can run a ar for barrier then a machine gun for overload and cover all three completely by yourself so what we can do is even on like a barrier champion shoot one shot pull out an ar which is barrier this season break the shield and then you have the second shot ready to go and in a way this build truly works better in harder content than easier because of how much damage you're doing per shot with this scene is so high that's almost overkill for a lot of lower end content obviously it still works extremely well but you do so much damage that you're easily killing every red bar and major in the game even like 15 20 light under and that is where this build really starts to shine and here in a second i'll show off the build i'm using it's more or less just the typical summary sort build you can also take advantage of healing through restoration with the phoenix dive if you want for healing to make it even better for survivability also you can take advantage of constant radiant uptime as you use all of your melees buffing the damage of this weapon even further and for mods in this build i changed a lot to ammo based mods and with my armor charges i am taking advantage of special finisher that way when i have three armor charges i can finish an enemy and get some ammo back because this will be like our main weapon for act clear and damage so overall this weapon is extremely good it's good for single target damage it's good for group act clear it really is just like an iznagi's burden or conditional finality but even better for act clear and this build allows you to have 100 of time on these shots and overall is just extremely good and extremely fun so yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video. There might be some gameplay left. Like usual, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.
Intense hive signatures in a facility up ahead. <laughs> 